the terrifying images of Typhoon Haiyan appear to be of near biblical proportion. Somewhere in the devastation of this island nation of over 92 million are members of Florinda Heath's family, including the cousins we introduced to you last Friday. They survived, but the problem is uh, it's hard to find food and water right now, and that electricity is, uh, they're estimating it will be restored in a couple months. With much of the country's infrastructure crippled, electricity and phone towers down, Florinda had no way of knowing whether either of them or their families were alive or dead. Her only possible clues, watching clips emerging from the news media. We're looking to see if that uh, they're showing pictures uh, where my family's from, the town where we're from, and see if we can take a glimpse of familiar faces. She's coordinating anything she gleans with her cousin in Sydney, Australia. They still haven't found Florinda's uncle, Justino Aguilar Jr., in the heart of the devastation. Families aren't the only ones waiting for the status of the Philippines. At Matthew 25 Ministries, preparations are underway to ship in medical and cleaning supplies as well as food. But everything is grounded until they know it can reach its destination. In many cases, airports will be closed. Maybe harbors have been flooded or destroyed. Scott Wagoner, 9 on your side, Cincinnati.